Hi, this is Adam. This is another I Am North Carolina vlog. I am here in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Dairy Chocolate Factory. Really excited to be here. I really love chocolate, so I've come in here numerous times tasting all the great things that they have to offer. I'm here with CEO Star Sink, who's going to tell us more about all the great chocolate that they have to offer for the community. So I'm here with Star, and she's going to tell us more about the Videri Chocolate Factory. Hi guys, I'm Star. I thought you might want to see our chocolate factory and where chocolate is made from, from the bean every day. Come on into our factory. So this is where the magic happens. This is the roaster. We start with organic and fair trade cocoa beans. We hand sort them and then we roast them. When this is running, the whole place smells like brownies. It's awesome. Um, Sam will say this is the most important part. This is where you make sure not to burn the beans, make sure to get that perfect rose profile. A lot like coffee, but unlike coffee, which is done at roasting, that's where we're just getting started. So Sam is the bean guy, the chocolate guy. He has started sourcing from some of his favorite farms. His favorite bean is Ecuador. So the Camino Verde farm in Ecuador is his favorite, but we also have Bolivia, Dominican, Peru, Trinidad, Venezuelan beans. We only have Central and South American beans. We don't use any African beans. Um, their labor practices are questionable, and their their beans aren't just aren't what we're looking for. So right. We like the small farms. This one's kind of fun. We had all of our chocolate tested at NC State in the food science department. And our, our dark milk, which is our lightest at about a 50% cocoa content, tested higher in antioxidants than commercial 85. Wow. Our 70 was off his charts and he just did, he said the 90 just was crazy. So that's <laughs> kind of fun. You can eat our chocolate and know it's like more than blueberries, better than blueberries. It's healthy. That is healthy, it's really healthy. healthy. For you. Well, I'm going to come in here every day and instead of an apple, I'll just have a bar yeah. of dark chocolate. <laughs> also, we are totally nut free, which is pretty important and cool. Mm -hmm. And those are our ingredients list cocoa beans, cocoa butter, sugar. All organic. Yep, and cocoa butter is the oil pressed from the cocoa bean. So a lot of people see butter and think dairy. It's, it's not. It's. Um, it's sort of like olive oil pressed from an olive seed. And... All right, so once the beans are roasted, they have to be cracked. This machine cracks the beans. I always compare it to a sunflower seed where you want to get the shell off and the meat out of the middle. The meat is what we call the nib. That's what the chocolate comes from. Uh, the shell, if it's left on, it can make it bitter and stuff like that, but we do use the shell for gardening, for home brewers, and for a lot of other stuff. So it's kind of cool. The machine does that. And then after it's cracked, it gets stone ground for three days. And that's what's happening here. For three days? Yeah, so feel free to look in there. Wow, so this is a very intensive process. Yeah, this just started today. You see it's still kind of pasty over there. It kind of looks like pebbles when it goes in, and then by the time it's done, it's gonna look like Silky, delicious chocolate. There's what it looks like. Oh, wow. That is the nib. This smells also good. Isn't it cool? Yes. And then um, eventually it'll come, it'll be this. Wow. Now, do you have a quality control? Someone who gets to taste every batch of Yeah, we do a lot. <laughs> oh, right here. Right here. Right I wish the camera could smell smell that. I can smell it. I think the camera can smell it too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. That is pure joy right there. And then once it gets ground, we age it for anywhere from a month to a year. And this whole library back here is here. Chocolate liquor, and then when it's time for it to turn into chocolate bars, it'll get chopped back up and put into that tempering machine. 
How long does it stay back here? Anywhere from a month to a year. Wow. And look, ooh, this is exciting. We're gearing up for candy cane, peppermint. The holidays are coming Holiday out. season. So that is all gonna be used in our peppermint chocolate bar, which debuts Black Friday. That's one of everything we make in the confections case. It's um, caramels, raspberry truffles, there's a pumpkin in there for fall, a chai. And these shapes are amazing. <laughs> and they're hand painted, each oh my one. Gosh. They're almost too good to eat, except they're perishable. So they only oh, have about a three week shelf life, so it's our duty to eat them. It is. You know, we don't want them to go, go to waste. waste. Exactly. No chocolate bar goes to waste exactly. here. Exactly. And then let me get you some samples. All right. Sounds good. Ready to eat some chocolate, Adam? Yes, I am ready. All right, so I tend to start with the lightest. This is our dark milk. I'm gonna give it right to the cube. I eat this one all day. I'm gonna eat that one I dropped. So this is our only one with dairy, but it's still gonna be a lot darker than a milk chocolate from the store. Sorry. Right. I can definitely taste that there is dairy in there. Mm -hmm. I can, I can. And from there we go. So the classic dark, our 70%. This used to be our darkest, but now Sam goes all the way up to a 90%. 90% is really strong, but we did win a good food award for our 90% Ecuadorian. So I was saying Ecuadorian's his favorite bean. Right. It's his award-winning bar. And it's a real art to make chocolate. It is, and this is the sea salt. This is our most popular by far. Every Let time I come in, I have the, the sea, sea salt. salt. Yeah. Oh, really good. But, I mean, too much chocolate? Are you good? I'm good. Okay, we'll keep sugar, going. Sugar levels aren't there yet. We're keep going. Now, this <laughs> is gonna... Roxanne's favorite. This is the pepper. It's peppery, but it's not spicy. We love this with red wine. Oh my gosh. It's so I'm, cool. Never had anything like this. It is peppery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it fills up the air in your mouth kind of more than your taste buds. It's a neat sensation. How, how long did it take to really perfect it? the pepper one. I mean, that must yeah. have taken a long time to really get it get to where it, you guys... The, the levels? I don't know. Sam does all of that um, research and development right. in the back. And like I said, we've got the candy cane coming out in the fall. This summer we had blueberry, which is awesome. But these four will always be here. These are what we call our flagship four. Mm -hmm. And then we change flavors in the case and with our seasonal bar. So I'd like to thank Star for giving us a tour here at the Videri Chocolate Factory. Really delicious chocolate, a wide variety of chocolate all over uh, Central and South America. It's a really cool place. I hope all you guys come in. If you're a chocolate fan, not a chocolate fan, you'll become a chocolate fan. So uh, I'm really happy to be here and this is another I Am North Carolina vlog and we'll see y'all soon. Thanks Adam, you're hired. Oh, thanks. <laughs>